whitecataractcoach.com. An Aussie resident does a white cataract. Really great job for this tough situation for cataract case number 330. Let's watch together here. Now we can see there is good draping, eye and primary. I like that. Parasitis going in. Another pair of 180 up opposite. Okay, that can be helpful too. And probably going to put some tripan blue dye in next. Right, there's the dye. Very nice. Let that stay in for a little bit. We've obviously sped the video up so we can be efficient here. So we can all learn together. So case 330 should be a pretty good nucleofractus technique here. So there's the uh, eye diluted out with the tripan. Let's see the viscoelastic going in. A good fill from across. Okay. Ooh, that's like an overfill. Maybe it's a big myopic eye. What do you think? A little bit of an overfill of the viscoelastic there, which may mean the incision could be a little on the shorter side. But let's see. All right, it's a tolerable incision. I like that. It's pretty good. Maybe not too short. But yeah, the, the area you get is when the eye is hyperinflated and the pressure's up, you may end up finding yourself making a uh, shorter tunnel length for the main incision. There's the nucleus being pierced by the 27-gauge um, needle here, aspirating out some of that liquefied lens cortex. Now, again, we had a video just earlier this week that makes you question, do you do this under viscoelastic or do it under moving BSS? But I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Now, I'll, there's the rocking of the nucleus. I like it. Looking good. Now you can get a good rexus done. Let's see the technique here. Nice forceps marked off at two and a half and five millimeters. So getting this rexus completed here. There you go, measuring it out, getting a good idea. It may be a big myopic eye because this eye looks so large. The corneal white to white looks pretty big here. I mean, that's obviously a five millimeter rexus. It's measured out. Great skills here, by the way. Running out a little bit, I'd bring that in a little tighter. There we go. Nice looking rexus. Now, I'd try to rotate it first. You may not have to do any hydrodissection because remember, the cortex is already liquefied. But just do a little bit. Let's see a little bit. I like the judicious amount of uh, BSS there. Now, let's see. Fago probably going to go inside the eye. We'll see what the nucleofragus technique is. Oh, look at this. Aspirating out just that lens material. Look at that. This is a butter soft lens. There's no need to chop a dang thing. Look at that. Comes out nice and easy. Wow. Easy breezy. I do the rest with the eye probe. Hey, that tape about retinarounds.com, our sister channel, so much great material, especially for cataract surgeons like you and me. I promise you're going to find it so useful. One day you'll say to me in person, I'm so sorry. It took me so long to go check out retinarounds. You were right. It is amazing, and I love it. Now, switching hands here with the bimanual IA, cleaning up that lens cortex. Let some light get onto that retina finally. And that's a nice cleaned up looking eye. Fantastic. I've had a great time, by the way, traveling in Australia. Really enjoyed it. Been multiple times. What a great ophthalmology scene too, by the way. Fantastic ophthalmology. This is very collegial, very fun. Really, truly a fun meeting to go to. Definitely recommend it. So now cleaning up here. And that looks pretty good. Hard to see exactly what we're polishing up here, but sometimes these white cataracts, you can get some lens material kind of stuck. It looks under, there's some sub-incisional cortex for sure, but sometimes the white cataracts, yeah, there's still more cortex. Good, good job switching hands. Sometimes these white cataracts can leave like a little haze or scarring on the back. That's okay. Get the lens in, clean it up, especially if you're a resident, you've only done 300 cases, then you can always do a YAG capsulotomy later. In our clinics with the, the first year residents, the newbies, they were assigned to do the YAG capsulotomies. So you can learn how to do that. So there we go. Looks pretty good. Let's see what you're going to do here for the lens. Are you going to do a hydro implantation? Are you going to put some viscoelastic in? Now, obviously, in this patient, you need to have zero phaco energy. This was a relatively young patient. You can see those eyelashes, by the way, look pretty young. And now here is the viscoelastic fill in the capsule bag. What would you aim for in this young patient? Let's say it's a bilateral cataract. You only can, you're only limited to monofocal lenses. I guess probably Plano will use okay. But what about a little bit of myopia in one eye? Plano, maybe minus one, 150 in the other eye. Maybe a little bit of myopia in both eyes if the patient started off myopic. But uh, interesting case here. Cleaning up at the end. Look at that nice rexus overlap. That looks really quite beautiful. And if this is a high myopia, like we suspected, maybe even leaving the patient a little bit more myopic. If the patient's a lifelong high myopia and they're uh, wanting to have a good range of vision, maybe one eye minus one, the other eye minus two, that's a pretty nice outcome. And then gives you pretty much freedom from glass for most indoor activities and then just put on glass to drive or uh, see distance, but fantastic result here, looking great. Hey, send your videos to us at cataractcoach.com. There's a link to submit your videos there.